Major fire in China, 39 dead, only escape route blocked. After COVID-19 comprehensively eased, CCP immediately suppressed religion large scale. China to expand genetically modified crop cultivation, raising concerns. The landslide disaster in Liangshui village, Yunnan, is allegedly a man-made accident. China increased military pressure on Taiwan just before meeting between Jake Sullivan and Wang Yi. On the afternoon of January 24th, a fire broke out in a building in Yushui District, Xinyu City, Jiangxi Province, China, resulting in 39 deaths and nine others injured. Witnesses reported that many people had to jump from the building to escape, and most of those who managed to escape were students. A witness said, most of them are students. This is a training facility for college students. I saw many of them around 19 or 20 years old. Some managed to escape independently, and firefighters rescued some. There was a strong smell at the scene. Thick smoke rose, and many people jumped out of the buildings to save themselves. An eyewitness who experienced the fire said, In the training facility on the upper floor, because the windows were sealed and the flames were covered, the only exit, many students could not easily escape. A video from the scene of the fire showed a person who managed to escape shouting, There are still dozens of people inside. Another resident who had been in this training facility said a room of about 30 meters squared accommodated 50 to 60 people. The staircase is very narrow. It seems very difficult to escape if something happens. According to the official WeChat account of the Yushui District Party Committee's Propaganda Department, the fire resulted in 39 deaths, 9 people injured, with one receiving emergency treatment. However, international observers suspect that the actual casualty figures may be higher. Local police stated that, through preliminary investigations, the fire occurred in a cold storage warehouse in the basement caused by unauthorized construction workers leading to the blaze. Currently, 12 people in charge of the cold storage are under investigation. Residents commented, Many emergency exits in public places are sealed off, leaving only one entrance, all for easier management. If you don't believe it, go to the supermarkets, hospitals, etc. in the city and you see. You'll find that more than half of the exits are locked, leaving only one open. Over 40 families are now in distress. Chinese New Year Festival is coming, but it only brings sadness. Although the Chinese authorities tried to hide the information, Bitter Winter received data and evidence about how the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, has brutally suppressed religious believers recently. Immediately after the CCP announced a complete relaxation of COVID-19 prevention measures by 2023, it immediately launched a large-scale religious persecution campaign targeting mainly believers of the Church of Almighty God, CAG. Regardless, young, old, male, female, as long as they are CAG followers in China, they are at risk of being arrested. Most of them were mentally terrorized, beaten, and brutally tortured. Some were even killed. On June 15, 2023 alone, at least 1,043 CAG Christians were arrested in Zhujiang province. One of the arrested people died after three days of being detained by CCP police. Family members said that the deceased had many injuries on his body, especially on his head. He died after being tortured by the police. In 2023, police in Anhui arrested at least 3,319 CAG believers, 1,277 of whom were forced to listen to brainwashing propaganda. Believers were also forced to promise to renounce their faith in God. Those who refused were punished. Some were beaten, forced to stand for many hours, or deprived of sleep. A believer who could not stand the torture jumped from the third floor. Her feet, spine, and arms were seriously injured. Treatment was not carried out in time, causing this female believer to now become disabled. CAG followers in Jiangsu, Jiangxi, Fujian, and Henan also suffered similar persecution. They also had to endure brutal harassment, threats, arrests, beatings, and torture by the police of the atheist CCP. Recently, the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Affairs approved several genetically modified GM varieties of corn and soybeans and simultaneously issued production and operation licenses for GM corn and soybean seeds to 26 companies. Deng Xiaoxiang, Deputy Minister of Agriculture and Rural Affairs of China, stated at a press conference on January 23rd that the campaign to revitalize agriculture had achieved initial results with the completion of the largest National Agricultural Genetic Resources Survey and the collection of over 530,000 new genetic resources. China is the world's largest importer of cereals, importing over 100 million tons of soybeans and cereals annually to feed its massive livestock population. 
large-scale cultivation of genetically modified crops is expected to increase yield and reduce dependence on imports from countries such as the United States and Brazil. According to Securities Times, China's promoted genetic modification technologies in 2022 came from Dabenong, Hangzhou, Ruifeng, and Syngenta. China Agricultural University will be added in 2023. Dabenong will develop 2.2 million MU, 146,667 hectares, in 2023, accounting for 56%. Hangzhou Rifeng will generate 1.6 million MU, accounting for 40%. Jonathan Liu, a traditional Chinese medicine professor at a public college in Canada, said, The Chinese Communist Party wants to develop its own genetically modified genes with the rationale of autonomy and safety control. If it's only for animals to eat, they think it will be safe, but not necessarily. Animals that consume these products eventually circulate them into the human body. Jonathan Liu believes that in China, many government activities are unclear. Therefore, preventing many genetically modified ingredients from infiltrating the human food chain is challenging. Not to mention this type of soybean, it's a genetically modified crop that can be easily processed into various foods sold on the market because it's cheap. If many people seek profit, it's against ethics. If it's not caught or under strict government supervision, it will be released into the market. A video posted by Chinese citizens showed on a pig farm many pigs have large tumors resembling soccer balls or rugby balls hanging loosely on their stomachs. Chinese people are highly suspicious that the cause of this consumption of feed made from genetically modified crops raising concerns. What happens to humans after consuming pork contaminated a large amount of genetically modified toxins? There could be cancer. There could be infertility. On January 22nd, a landslide occurred in Liangshui village, Tangfang Town, Zhenxiang County, Zhou Tong City, Yunnan, according to the official media of the Communist Party of China. The disaster buried 18 houses and left 47 people missing. Many mainland media outlets believe that the cause of the disaster is related to local coal mining activities. On January 23rd, Sanlian Life Weekly reported that many villagers said cracks on the mountains and houses had appeared in many local villages two or three years before the incident. According to Bei Shen, many villagers interviewed believed that the cracks on the mountain were related to the mining activities at the nearby Liujiepo coal mine. The most comprehensive crack on the mountain is over one meter wide, and a person can fall into it. A villager posted a video saying, There are earthquakes in Xiaorokhui, the mountain, every day. Some villagers work in the nearby coal mines. The exit of Liaojiapo coal mine is close to the landslide site, only 2 to 3 kilometers away. An internet user familiar with the issue analyzed, This is not a crack but a cave after the mountain was hollowed out, a common occurrence in mining areas. At the foot of the mountain, hundreds of households, schools, and village residents have reported the situation for a half a year, but no one cared. Some leaders even said cotton and plastic film should be used to cover the cracks. Map data shows that Liu Jiapo Coal Mine Company is 3.5 kilometers from Liangshui Village, where the incident occurred. Earlier, the law enforcement team of the National Mine Safety Supervision Bureau investigated Liao Jiapo Coal Mine of Liao Jiapo Coal Mine Company in Zhangxiang County and found that the mine had significant safety hazards in the mining face. According to relevant regulations, the Level 2 Safety Production Standardized Management System level of Liaojipo Coal Mine of Zhenxiang County, Liaojipo Coal Mine Company Limited, should be revoked immediately. On January 26th and 27th, high-level representatives of the U.S. and China met in Bangkok, the Thai capital. This meeting is seen as an effort to cool the tense relationship between the two countries over many years. China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, CFM, said on January 27th that the Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi had candid, substantive, and fruitful strategic communication with U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan aimed at further promoting the dialogue commitment of the two countries' leaders, reports Reuters. CFM added that the two officials agreed during the meeting in Bangkok to properly handle important and sensitive issues in U.S.-China relations. However, before the meeting, China increased harassment against Taiwan. The Chinese military sent 33 aircraft, including Su-30 fighters and six Navy vessels around Taiwan between 6 a.m. January 26 to 6 a.m. the following day. Taiwan News cited Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense, MND, as saying that 13 Chinese aircraft entered the island's southwestern and northern air defense identification zones. From the beginning of January until now, MND has detected 266 Chinese military aircraft and 116 naval ships sent by Beijing intending to put pressure on Taiwan. Since September 2020, Beijing 
began to further promote gray zone tactics by deploying military aircraft and naval ships on the median line and intruding on Taiwan's ADIZ.